Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Fantasy Lighthouse Network. This is the verses. We are doing Taurus versus Capricorn. Capricorn is to my right. Taurus is going to be to my left. Let's get right into it. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to how Capricorn feels about Taurus. How does Capricorn feel about Taurus at this time? Spirit, please talk to me about how Capricorn feels about Taurus. How does Capricorn feel? Okay, I'm going to get all the cards out and then we're going to talk about it. How does Capricorn feel about Taurus? Spirit, how does Capricorn feel about Taurus? How does Capricorn feel? Ooh, okay. <laughs> how does Capricorn feel? Maybe they feel like, ooh, I don't know why I said that or why that came out like that. Cards are popping out all over the place. How does, okay. All right. So the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, Capricorn. So I feel like you have this person in their feelings. They're thinking about you constantly. They want to improve the situation. They're definitely guilty about some past hurt. I feel that they're thinking about how they could improve a situation. I feel they're in this energy of just taking a look at everything that you guys have been through and just admiring your courage, your strength to continue to want this, right? After everything that they put you through or something like that, okay? So let's take a look at their side here. We have the Knight of Wands energy coming out. So they're definitely interested in coming to see you, spending some time, being active, um, you know, traveling with you. There's a lot of spontaneous energy here. They want to get together. They want to come over. That's what I'm getting. A lot of sexual energy as well. We have this page of swords energy coming out here. I feel like they're very attentive to what you're up to. They're looking at your things, looking at photos. They're on your social media if you have one. They value you, okay? So don't think that they don't think about you. You're constantly on this person's mind is what I'm getting here. Page of swords energy. With the ace of cups, very beautiful. This is a confirmation of love that's absolutely real. Um, I feel that they want more with you. Okay, so there could be higher levels of commitment that are coming for the both of you. We have this two of wands energy. They're waiting right now. They also could be isolating, a little withheld, but they're in their feelings. And a lot of people are when we're at the end of an, a year, right? When we're getting ready to go into a new year, then people are sentimental and very emotional. So I feel like that's the vibe that they're kind of in right now. All right. So this person definitely wants to have a relationship with you. They um, are interested in pursuing the connection. They're in love with you. They watch you. They're attentive. That's what I'm getting here. Or they want to be. They desire to still continue. Let's take a look at how you feel. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to how Taurus feels about Capricorn. Spirit, how does Taurus feel about Capricorn? Okay, tell me more. How does Taurus feel about Capricorn? Talk to me about how Taurus feels about Capricorn. All right, let's get one more card. How does Taurus feel? All right, so... You feel like you have to have a lot of strength to deal with the connection. At times, Capricorn wants to be the one in control all of the time. So you want them to relinquish some of that 
and to let you lead the way as well. I feel that you have these goals that you want to reach with Capricorn. Things are changing in your favor. You have a lot of amazing things that are going to be taking place in your life. And I really feel that you want these things to happen with Capricorn as well. You want them to be a part of your good fortune, okay? Because you have the wheel of fortune. So I feel that things with you and Capricorn are going to be changing for the better. And you have faith in that, okay? You have the magician. So I feel like you manifest and you constantly pray that things work out. Uh, you're hoping for the best. And if you continue to have this type of faith, then you are going to get what you want. Because I see that they still want this to work with you. I don't feel their energy as trying to retreat from you or to get away from you. They're coming towards you is what I'm getting. And you still want this. So if you guys are on the same frequency, then it's going to work out. All right, with the magician being present. This is someone that you've definitely known for a little while now. With the Six of Cups energy, the past person card being present here. So I feel like the feelings are mutual. With the Six of Pentacles, you want to have justice, peace, and balance with this person. And you also have some sort of strategy for income that could benefit the both of you. There's a lot of money when I think about Taurus and Capricorn, you know, I feel like you guys are helping each other. You guys are leading each other to success. I feel like you guys are going to be buying a home together, opening a business. This energy right here, it has potential. You know, I just feel it. I feel that uh, if you guys are broken up, I feel you guys are going to come back together. Uh, if you guys had a disagreement then, you know, that's going to be rectified. That's what I'm getting here. All right, so let's take a look at the outcome. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the outcome for Taurus and Capricorn. What is the outcome here for Taurus and Capricorn? Tell me more. What is the outcome here for Taurus and Capricorn. Nice. Bottom of the deck. There you are, Taurus. So you're going to be pleased with the outcome of this whole situation. I feel like you guys are going to continue to grow. Even if, you know, something was stalled between you guys, I feel like it's going to pick back up. We have this nine of pentacles energy. Um, you're just becoming very, very successful. There's popularity coming to you, Taurus, a lot of notoriety. That's something that Capricorn may have an issue with. Capricorn is very jealous when it comes to you, all right? Um, they may not like other people staring at their woman, staring at their man, you know, whether male or female. Um, they feel like you belong to them and that's it. That's the only issue that I feel that you guys may have, all right? Because they're admiring you and they know that other people are admiring you and that's an issue for them, all right? But the outcome is definitely justice here with the four of wands. So you getting what you want, you both getting what you want because I'm really getting this energy that you both want to make it work. So there's no energy here of, you know, you being on one page and this person having a different agenda. Even if Capricorn is quiet right now, things in the future start to get back to how they need to be. And that's the both of you coming back in union. All right. So that's what I have for you. I want to thank you for watching to book your private session. All of that info is below and take care.